No rain on this parade, just plenty of rain bows. The Long Island Pride Parade and Festival, back to its roots here in Huntington after a few years away. Long Island Pride held its first parade here in Huntington back in 1991. 33 years ago, we had to go to court to win the right to march. We were denied permits from every single township, including Huntington, that we applied to. David Kilmnick, president and CEO of the LGBT Network, says he's seen plenty of pride and prejudice over the years. This is Fern Eslick's first time at a pride parade. Well, we were just came for breakfast and we saw that there was a parade going on, so we we're just here to support. School teacher Sarah Ecke, honored to have been named one of the grand marshals of the parade for her stand displaying a Pride Progress flag in her classroom in Kanetquat. I feel extremely privileged and excited. Police presence at the parade, not just protection, but support. Too often I've seen hate. Uh, there's no room for hate. Uh, out here in Suffolk County and me being the police commissioner, we're going to make sure that we erase that. Jerry Eugene stopped by to see what was going on. I work in town of Huntington and uh, it's a great town and I'm happy to see the town is really doing what they're doing, helping the cause. For many here, the parade is a matter of taking a stand. Good representation of like who we are, what we want to do, what who we want to be, and it's like telling the people who don't like it, like, mind your business, you know what I mean? Somewhere over the rainbows. Steve Langford for Newsday TV.